a top-scoring fighter pilot in the Second World War with the RCAF. Stocky Edwards is known for his leadership and skill as a pilot. Serving nearly 32 years with the Air Force, post-war he continued accomplishments as a pilot and held several command posts in Canada, the U.S., and Europe. Born to his parents, Alice and Wilfred, on a farm near Nokomis, Saskatchewan, on June 5, 1921, James Francis Edwards attended school at St. Thomas College in Battleford, Saskatchewan, where he distinguished himself as an athlete in hockey and other sports. Known as Jim or Jimmy, after completing high school in June 1940, he joined the Royal Canadian Air Force, enlisting at Saskatoon learning to fly in Tiger Moth biplanes at No. 16 Elementary Flying Training School in Edmonton. At No. 11 Service Flying Training School in Yorkton, Saskatchewan, on Harvard's, he graduated as a sergeant pilot on June 27, 1941. Aboard the RMS Ausonia when shipped overseas, he sailed to the United Kingdom, then trained on Hawker Hurricanes. He was posted to the Middle East in November 1941 and was assigned to 94 Royal Air Force Squadron in the Western Desert, Egypt. The squadron was equipped with P-40 Kitty Hawk aircraft, a single-seat fighter-bomber aircraft equipped with six wing-mounted 50 caliber machine guns and used by the Allied Air Forces. Promoted to Flight Sergeant in 1942 with the Desert Air Force, and now known as Eddie, Jim shot down a Messerschmitt ME-109 on his first operational flight. On May 9, he was transferred to 260 RAF Squadron. And as the Allied Army retreated, aircraft of the Desert Air Force relocated frequently to temporary bases, and Kitty Hawks of 260 Squadron now carried 500-pound bombs. With Allied forces retreating from German and Italian armies, the Desert Air Force was flying 24 hours a day, escorting Boston, Baltimore, and Mitchell bombers of the Allied forces. The P-40's technical performance was often no match for its adversaries. But the shortcomings of this durable and powerful fighter did not prevent it from becoming one of the deadliest aircraft of the war. The aircraft's superior durability, diving abilities and firepower gave its pilots the advantage over their enemy. By October 1942, the Axis forces were in full retreat. On one day, Eddie shot down two ME-109s within minutes, and on one strafing operation, he destroyed an ME-109 and an ME-110 on the ground. On another day, he dropped his bomb between two Junkers Ju-88 aircraft, destroying both, and destroyed three ME-109s on the ground in a single burst of gunfire. Eddie was promoted to Flight Lieutenant on December 24, assigned as Flight Commander, while the Desert Air Force continued to support the 8th Army under Field Marshal Bernard Montgomery. Eddie's score continued to mount while flying the Kitty Hawk, as shown here in one of his own paintings, while he and his squadron continued to bring down Messerschmitt ME-109s. Eddie himself shot down three on one day of combat. On April 22, 1943, he shot down a six-engined ME-323, the last recorded victory for 260 Squadron in North Africa. Eddie had flown 195 sorties over African deserts. In December 1943, he was posted to RCAF 417 Squadron in Italy, flying Spitfires, and soon transferred to No. 92 East India Squadron in Italy, where he continued to bring down enemy aircraft, as portrayed in another of his paintings. Edwards was promoted to squadron leader with command of 274 RAF Squadron, flying Spitfires in Italy, and from England for bomber escort on the Channel Front and D-Day. He completed his second tour and was awarded a bar to his DFC. Home in Canada, he had a chance to play hockey in Winnipeg and Calgary while touring to encourage hope among Canadians. 
Back to England in February 1945, at age 23, he was promoted to wing commander of RCAF-127 wing in the Netherlands, heading four RCAF Spitfire squadrons over Europe. Eddie's rank and position afforded him the privilege of having his Spitfire labeled with his own initials, JFE, as shown here, and in an illustration created by a grandson. On May 3, 1945, Eddie flew his 373rd and final sortie of the war, shooting down another JU-88 with other pilots of his wing. The war was over two days later. He had become one of the top-scoring pilots of the RCAF. Wing Commander Edwards stayed in uniform for another 27 years, and post-war, a nickname from his days in training, Stocky, caught up with him, and he has been known by that name ever since. Following the war, Stocky held several senior posts in Ontario, British Columbia, Alberta, Europe, and Colorado, and flew Cansos and Lancasters, as well as Vampire, F-86 Sabre, and CF-100 jet aircraft. In 1972, after nearly 32 years of service in wartime and peacetime with the Air Force, Stocky Edwards retired and settled with his wife, Tony, and their children in Comox, British Columbia. In December 2004, Stocky was invested as a member of the Order of Canada in recognition of his outstanding accomplishments. At Gatineau, Quebec, a two-seater restored P-40 Kitty Hawk of Vintage Wings of Canada has been restored to flying condition in the markings of one flown by Stocky Edwards. For the first time since the Second World War, Stocky has flown in the type of warbird that he flew in combat with the Desert Air Force. And the aircraft that bears his markings is flown in tribute to him as a reminder of his service to his country. James Francis Stocky Edwards was inducted as a member of Canada's Aviation Hall of Fame at ceremonies held in Ottawa on May 30, 2013.